Ladies and gentlemen, Airport CEO is back here on Bongo Planes. We are starting off a new series, a new project, what that is all about and what the future has in store for us. All that and much more right after the drop. Before we get too far into today's video, if you should end up enjoying this video and this series, then don't forget to leave a like, that very much helps us out. And of course, if you are new around here, you're always welcome to hit subscribe. Now, I guess the most burning question here to begin with is simply, where is the new airport located that we will be building over the next couple of weeks and months? Well, I've been thinking about this long and hard and I've decided for London City as our next location. And there are obviously a few reasons why I chose London City for our new project. First of all, I don't want season three to be as long as season one and two. I think season one and two had both around 24 episodes. And with season three, we are going for, I guess, around half of that. And it has a particular reason. And that is because every time we move from one alpha to a new alpha, um, there is the risk that the game or the game save breaks and ultimately with the last uh, airport project i had these issues there were just some things that i just couldn't fix anymore and to try to avoid that we will go for a little bit of a shorter project ultimately i want to finish this before the game moves into beta which i don't know exactly when will happen but it could happen um i guess within this year maybe beginning of next year i'm not quite sure but i just want to be sure that this project is finished before that happens just for a little bit of perspective as far as i know there is still one maybe two alpha releases to come and then the game will be moving to beta the other thing is of course that london city located in the middle of the docklands in london east london I think it's a really unique location. The airport has many um, interesting features and also some interesting challenges. And of course, we can't replicate everything 100%, but we will try to take some of the elements from that airport and try to replicate them here in the game. Now, at the end of last season, I had asked you guys for suggestions as to where we could have the next airport located. And there were some really good suggestions. I think my favorite one was by far um, to build an airport in Australia. And that's definitely a project I would like to take on maybe in season four, but I just wanted to have a smaller, more condensed project for season three. And um, yeah, so London City is what we're going for. There are obviously some things we can't do. So unfortunately we can't add any water here. Would have been really awesome if we could have done so. Um, but I think we will try to um, make it a little bit challenging for ourselves obviously we could have way more space than london city has even if the, the the game area as such isn't huge in the game for alpha that will change actually later in the game when they move to beta on the full release but um i think once we have established more or less um a simple layout here for the buildings and and such i think basically everything that will go north of the runway we will only have one runway just like the real airport but everything north of that will basically be off limits we won't be able to build anything there so in that sense we do limit the amount of space that we have now one thing that we will also take into account for the series is of course that the real london city airport um doesn't really handle large aircraft. I mean, the largest aircraft types that the airport handles is basically mainly Embraer 190s. Um, I think the Airbus A220 can actually also land there. And of course, uh, until recently, you also had the A318 of British Airways um, with their famous BA1 service from London City to Shannon and then New York, JFK, and then directly from JFK back to London City that unfortunately they have ceased but um basically up to a318 that's aircraft that the air the airport can handle today but they are expanding the airport in real life and um if i remember correctly they're expanding the airport to a degree where it could handle up to a320 aircraft i might be wrong but just so we have a little bit more leeway in the traffic that comes in, we will go for medium stands as the larger stands on this airport. This does mean that we won't have wide body aircraft because that would just be completely unrealistic for this airport. But it is a shorter project, so if you're not a huge fan of that, we will of course come to a new season at some point and then we will try to make something bigger again where we will have wide body aircraft as 
well. But for this season, medium stance and medium, so single art aircraft will be the largest that we will have here because we want to try to make it at least somewhat realistic. I think one thing that is also interesting me about London City is, um, well, when it comes to the architecture, obviously it's not a pretty airport, so it's not in that sense architecture that interests me, but I think we can try try off some, some building techniques that we haven't really used in the other series so far. And that's, for example, and actually splitting up um, outbound passengers from inbound passengers that's something we haven't really touched on before but we can do it in the game uh, so that's definitely something we want to try london city obviously mainly gets traffic from outside the uk and as the uk isn't part of schengen um, that means passport controls which we have in the game now so that's perfect and so the idea i think we have is that we have the one central building of london city where they basically have pretty much everything going on and then they have just a a long thing, thin thing, a long thin arm going out, um, where you then have basically all the gates. But then you have basically inbound and outbound passengers completely shielded off from each other, and that is something I really want to try in this series to see if we can make it work. Theoretically, we should be able to do so, but I actually haven't tried it yet, so um, we will see if we can manage to do something that actually works. All right, so let me just place down the runway. We will go for the um, large uh, runway just because I think it looks better. And basically everything north of that is off limits. We can't build there because in real life there would be water. So the shape of the terminal building we have um, built here is obviously not a perfect replica of what we have in real life, but it is a let's say a rudimental replica of what we have in real life. It's it, it's getting close. We have we will have this main main building where we will have everything from passport control, check in. Um, baggage claim that's all on on level on ground level then on level one we will have um shops in real life the airport actually doesn't have any lounges at least it didn't have last i traveled to and from london city and i don't think they have changed that so far i would hope they would change it since they're expanding the airport um, because it would be nice um, but uh, I think that's an element that we will add here in the game. Since we have the option of adding airport lounges, it would be a shame not to do so as well. Then I've also been really um, looking into how, how they're handling basically all their ground equipment, how they're doing with, with uh, luggage. Where do they put all the things? Because when you look at the airport in real life, there isn't really any structures where they, for example, have all the GSE equipment and stuff like that. Um, so I was I was looking on the internet, I was looking at some of my own footage from some of my trip reports to see how they're actually doing it. Now they have actually all of that integrated into the terminal building. Um, that will be a little bit difficult for us to do so, so we will have to improvise here as well a little bit. Um, but um, yeah, it's, it's actually rather interesting how they've done so. There are also some documentaries on YouTube where you can get behind the scenes and see stuff from the airport. It's a really interesting airport in my opinion. I really like the airport. Um, obviously, if you come at peak hours, it might be traffic hours. Uh, it might be, it can be very crowded, let's say like this, um, which is not great. But um, other than that, I, I mean, there's so many airports that <laughs> suffer from that. But um, yeah, honestly speaking, I think it's probably the best airport in London to travel to and from. Um, maybe try to avoid the really, really peak hours of traveling. But if you can do so, then it's awesome, at least in my opinion. So I'm really happy about um, yeah <laughs> this project. I'm, I was I was thinking so long what to do. I was actually almost yeah I was getting a little bit um, anxious about this whole season three, what to do, how I should do it. Um, and mainly also because of the whole thing when you move from one alpha, I'm really excited every time we move from one alpha to the other because it means new features. But when you are doing gameplay like this, where you're also recording it for a series, um, these updates are both great and bad. Great, of course, because as I say, you get new content, you get new options that you can do in the game, but it also comes with the chance of breaking your game. Now, I could just go out of the experimental branch and play it safe and then just wait for basically the new features having been tested. On the other hand, if I'm not in the experimental branch, then I couldn't have mods. 
and I want to have mods because I want to have real airlines. So <laughs> I can't avoid being in the experimental branch, but that means that when they come with an update, it does have the potential of breaking your game. And that's, that's something that, I mean, it's a bit of stress when you're trying to create a video series on your game when you constantly have to fear that it might break so yeah this was these were things or thoughts that were in my head for quite a while um giving me a bit of anxiety to be honest like how can i make this good and make sure that we won't have any issues because when i look back at my tegel airport one of the reasons why i kind of finished it off a little bit rushed was just because with the last off update that we had in that game there were just some things that were broken and I just could not fix it. I was trying many, many, many things and it just it just didn't work. I couldn't make it work. So it was like, okay, um, I need to try to finish this and try to make as many things work as possible and there will just be some corners of the airport that just don't work. Which is maybe also one of the reasons why I never shared the save file. There were some people asking for that. Um, the other reason is also because I still haven't figured out how to share it. <laughs> So it's not just that I didn't want to share it, it's also that I didn't figure out how to share my save files. Um, I'm not opposed to say, uh, sharing save files of this gameplay if you are interested. I just need to figure out how to do it. Um, and yeah, so that could be something if you're interested in these things. Uh, maybe not straight away because obviously there isn't much saved yet, but when we get a little bit into the series and if I figure out how to do it, then that could be an option if there is interest, obviously. So while I've been talking about save files and stuff like that, um, I've been working here on um, the gate areas. And this is really then trying to have an area where we have um, basically a waiting area for the departing passengers. And then basically where um, passengers are going to and from the aircraft, I've added a wall to split them up. So you have the outbound and the inbound. In theory, this should work. This is a feature that they added um, with one of the previous alphas. Um, this this should work, but obviously we will see if it then actually does once we try it out. Uh, London City, of course, has no um, jet bridges. So that's also something we won't have. So all boarding will be from ground level. Um, so people will actually come from ground level in the main building, then go upstairs, go through security, then um, go through this long, long arm to their gate where they then go downstairs to wait and then board the aircraft. And when people arrive, they will go into the building um, and then just straight into the building and then basically have a long, long corridor where the, the passengers then come to passport control and then uh, collect their luggage. That's the simple layout that we have in real life with London City and that's what we're trying to replicate here and um, yeah so we I think we have done quite a few things here now um, to lay the groundwork the, the foundation uh, for this airport and for the series I hope you are as excited as I am for this uh, new project and uh, we will see how it uh, goes how it develops over the next couple of weeks and months now, as we are coming towards the end of this uh, episode, um, what is left for me to say? Well, if you have any suggestions, any feedback, any ideas, leave it in the comment section below. It's a, a great help for me. And I'm yeah, I, I think it's an awesome project. I'm really excited. I hope you are as well. And um, let's make a great airport together. So while I'm doing a little bit of work here on the land side layout, let me just finish off by saying thank you so much for having watched today's episode. Of course, if you have enjoyed this video, a like would be very much appreciated. And of course, if you are new around here, why not hit subscribe? Now with that, once again, thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out and bye.